I have not seen a palette this beautiful in a long while. It's a gorgeous palette and we're gonna jump into it right now. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ohima. Welcome, my hands are wrinkly. It's a thing, I'm gonna mention it a lot this year because I feel like sometimes when I film and when my skin, or I'm not properly hydrated, my hands are very wrinkly, all the mean comments come out. I've had wrinkly hands ever since I was a kid. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere without any kind of a medical intervention. It is what it is, okay? Okay, if you are new to my channel, my name is Ohima. Welcome if you are a returning friend. Hey. I have never been shook by a palette like this palette shook me. Let me explain, okay? I have been intimidated by palettes. Juvia Space palettes intimidate me all the time. But this palette, when I opened it, literally shook me by just looking at it because I haven't even swatched it. I don't know what the shades will look like on my skin tone, but the color of it is so effing impressive. One thing that impresses me the most is the simple fact that there is a black shade in here. And with that black, I can literally deepen any one of these shades. Most of the time, when I see palettes like this, they stop at this taupey color and it's like they're so scared to add a black to it, probably because they feel like people won't buy it. But for somebody who's as dark as me, we're not gonna be able to use this palette without there being a black or a very, very close to black shade in there. So today I'm gonna use this palette. It is an all matte palette with two cream products here for you to use as your base. Or you could probably also use this to go over it to make it shiny if you want. I've never done that glossy eyelid because I feel like my eyelids roll in. I'm rambling. This is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3 palette. It says that this velvet matte palette blends warm and cool nudes for the ultimate versatility, giving you everything you need for your most epic looks all year round. The cream basis allows you to really sculpt and intensify your eye looks. So we're gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eyeshadow Primer or Eyeshadow Base and I'm gonna use that to prime my eyes just to help it not get oily. Now today we're trying out the Jane Iredale concealers. I was very skeptical because I've never heard of anybody use Jane Iredale anything, let alone anybody as deep as me use Jane Iredale anything. Like I have never heard of it, okay? And I tried this concealer. I was skeptical, but that's what I'm wearing on my face right now. It looks really good. I want to see a natural to maybe a matte finish product. It goes on really smoothly. It blends out beautifully, but I thought it was going to be a radiant finished product and it actually dries down very nicely to where I'm beginning to feel like it is a matte or maybe like a semi-matte or like a soft matte product. It obviously isn't very full coverage and I love that for me. And Jane Iredale, whoever Jane Iredale. Who is Jane Iredale? I have to go look it up who Jane Iredale is. For the eyes today, we're using the Singe Beauty brushes. I'm starting out with the E03 brush. I want to do that bright inner corner, blend in a little bit of this shade and maybe the taupe but I really want to go in with the black because black is very hard to formulate. If not done right, it could definitely ruin a look, okay? Let's go into this shade right here. Ooh, I don't know. I'll just put it in the middle. I definitely should have came here with a game plan, but I don't do that. Oh, okay, okay. I really love how intense this, it's not even a white shade. I like how intense it is. There are some shades like this in other palettes that don't like show out half as much as this is showing out. Also, the powders in the palette moves a lot. The next logical shade I can go into is this shade. So I'm gonna take that and just blend it on the... This could definitely be like an everyday palette for me because with the right set of base, I feel like I could make this look really good. A few suggestions. I would lo I would have really loved to see a deeper graduation of the brown that's not technically black, if that makes any sense. So then there could be like a very, very, very deep brown shade, something that's a little bit darker than me, and then something that is an almost black, but then it's a brown shade and then the black. Then I'll be able to use this up, down, and sideways, okay? If I'm traveling or I'm going to an event, I'm going to reach for the Juvia Space Coffee Shop palette Palette, and then I'm gonna reach for this palette because these two together, I can find the gaps. Um, I can use this to just match something that I need in the other palette because that coffee palette is 
near perfect. It's it's a very gorgeous palette and I go everywhere with it. But I can add this because this only has matte shades and most of the time, sometimes, I really only just want to do like a nice matte look. I decided to go into this taupey looking brown shade and that actually has some dimension to it if you can see it's giving you a nice subtle shade so then you don't have to go into the black if you don't want to and as you can see i stayed only in the part of my eyes that rolls in i didn't really do anything and i'm still using the same brush i'm taking the singe beauty e07 brush it is almost like a concealer brush it's very little also almost flat i'm only gonna dip the tip of it into the black which is what i just i'm just happen and i'll use that to kind of sort of give myself a cut crease okay that's it so i just looked straight at my mirror and i follow the part where my eye rolls in just follow that line and i just angled it down towards the front next what i'm doing is taking the tip again and i'll use that to just give myself a wing Ooh, do you see this i love this it looks really good it's like you're trying but you're not really trying kind of an eyeshadow look mm. This is cute. For my lower lash line, I feel like I want to do something a bit more sultry, but I also kind of want to keep it understated. I don't know. I'm going into the black regardless. And I'm going to use that to just smoke where my lash line is. I'm not going to put it in my waterline. I will use a gel liner for my waterline, okay? Yeah, I'm using the Half Magic Mascara. Has anybody gone a lash lift? Let me know if it's worth it because that is one of the things I want to explore. If it can help me curl up my lashes i like what this is looking like i like going in to a palette without a plan and just seeing where it goes okay next i'm going into this shade i don't want to use that very white bright shade on my lower lash line area so i'm using this shade over here it has a little bit of color to it but it's still appearing very much pale on my skin tone which is fine then i'm going into the black to smoke into the shade i put down i got these lashes from amazon Ali crown and i want to try these i don't even know what these are called i will link it down okay guys so this is my finished look using the patrick ta major dimension three palette this look is magnificent no liquid liners used eyeshadow placement okay and of course the brushes really really helped let me go ahead and swatch the cream shades in here okay guys so here we are with the two cream shades swatched this is the black one this is the brown one the black is definitely intense enough where you can actually use this as an eyeliner and then go ahead and set it with the black shadow and you have a liner i mean you don't really need to do that but if you want to do that you can if you travel with this palette you wouldn't need to pack an eyeliner you just need to apply a really nice precision brush a nice concealer brush and a nice concealer to be able to use to define your eyeliner i like that also this is what a brown base looks looks like for me i don't know what i would use this for maybe to like color correct my face but if you're lighter than me and you're pale or peach like my kids would say you can definitely use this so those are the only two shades i'm going to swatch for you because everything else would just look ashy on my skin tone so on a scale of one to ten i'll i'm gonna rate this palette a seven or 7.5 depending on your skin tone i just feel like there could have been a little more diversity in the palette and i think i love the simple fact that it is an all matte palette let me know if you have this palette how you feel about the palette if you don't have it are you thinking about picking it up after seeing this video let me know down below in the comments thank you so much for watching love you lots and i'll see you in my next video bye